Hey guys, Psycho here with the next Juve game, and uh, this one we're playing away from home against Lazio, so it's a, a potential tough match. Um, we've actually got a string of, of tough games in a row, we've just played Napoli and won 1-0. Uh, we've got Lazio away, and then we're playing at home against Fiorentina, so, you know, it's against some of the decent teams in the league really, so if we can come out of all of those three games with a win, you know, that's really, really good progress in my eyes, um, and we'll certainly be pushing to catch up with Milano at top, so on we go, I am going to have to rotate because this match is only a few days after uh, the game against, uh, who was it, Napoli, uh, but a rainy match at the, uh, the Olympico, so let's have a look, um, I, I realise that with the new patch supposedly you're able to change the weather. Uh, before a match in career mode, but you've got to actually download on the PC version. You've got to re-download FIFA, um, and you'll lose all your save games. So I, I obviously I don't want to do that because I'm, I've got two really good let's plays on the go with Liverpool and Juventus. I don't want to lose that, um, especially with the Juventus one because I'm now in the Champions League. So I'm just going to have to put up with the weather. Uh, but you know, it's not it's not the end of the world. I suppose a bit of rain it does slow the game up a little bit. Everything feels a bit more sluggish, but that's just something I'll have to accept for now. So I am going to rotate things quite a bit for this one, um, and it's just necessary, unfortunately. But thankfully, I have got a good squad overall. Plenty of players who can, who can, you know, step in and uh, you know can step in and really sort of deputise well. Going to put Rossi behind Hernandez, or it's going to be Vucinic who's playing up front. So Rossi behind Vucinic, and uh, Shakiri and Pepe on either wing. Other than that, obviously I can see Buffon's a bit tired, but it's not really necessary to swap him at, at this point because he, uh, you know, he's not like one of the outfield players who's running around all all match. So uh, I think we'll put Del Piero on the bench as well. And what the hell? Let's put Verratti in there. So, fairly decent lineup. Even though it's mostly a second string, um, it's still really, really good. Um, but unbelievably, just looking there, Lazio have got Pato. Once again, FIFA strikes with its ridiculous transfers. Other than that, you know, their lineup's not particularly unrealistic. I suppose some of the players they've signed. Pazzini's not the most realistic signer, but then again, you know, if he was to leave Inter, he might go to somebody like Lazio to get a game, you know, to get more regular game time or something, I don't know. Uh, Renato Augusto, uh, again, you know, he'd probably leave the Bundesliga for, for someone like Lazio and Serie A. Not the most unrealistic transfer, but Pato to Lazio, it wouldn't happen. The only way Pato would leave Milan is if the likes of Barcelona or Real Madrid or maybe somebody like United or City came in for him with ridiculous money. But I can't see Pato ever leaving Milan. Maybe when he's older he, he might decide to go to Brazil or something like that. I don't know. But Pato's the type of player who'll stay at Milan for most of his career. Like Del Piero has once he joined Juventus when he was young. He's been there for the whole the whole time and you know that's how I see Pato being at Milan. He wouldn't leave, so Bit disappointing to have to play against them um, at Lazio. Well, this is a game that I'm sure we're but never mind, we've just got to get on with it. So, and nine points behind, me, as are Inter. Let's see what we can do. Lazio in our game today against Juventus. It's Juventus, Alan, that we're really going to focus on. Your thoughts? Absolutely excellent over the last ten games. Have hardly put a foot wrong. Just wonder whether they continue that out here today. Well, the players know today they've got to. So the objective is to keep the pressure on, keep the winds coming. Discipline, shall we say? Quite often I've seen him issue a yellow card for the first tackle in the match, and quite often later on in that match we'll see a red one. I wonder if that'll happen here. Rossi. Into his feet. This is the chance. And it's oh, the good save there. Really good save. This will be a corner for I think it's Viviano in goal. I don't know whether he's been bought. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong actually, but I'm sure he, he actually plays for Inter. 
Um, so if, if that's the case, they've obviously brought him in. Uh, that was a poor cross in the end. It was offside anyway. And uh, Sissoko just managed to step in front and do enough to stop Lazio doing anything useful with the ball there. And it looks as if we've got a player down there. I think it's Pepe. That's a real tussle for the ball. Excellent chance for a cross now. Brilliant tackle from Sorensen. I had to do that. I couldn't seem to win it normally, you know, uh, with a, a, like a conservative stab tackle. So I had to slide in and try and win it Here's that way. And I, thankfully, he pulled it off perfectly. The defenders couldn't get there. He was too strong in keeping. Well, that's not. Oh, the it looks. Good play. It's frustrating. Gregory Van de Veel. Rossi. Oh, it's poor from me. That I don't know why I did that. Come really, back. really poor. So Pepe's come back on. Oh, look at that. Do you know what? I'm glad that Buffon saved that because that would have been an annoying goal to concede. He's in quickly there, crisply too. Nearly won that back with Pepe Lazio. there. So Galopa. close. Now he'll get it back again. Don't always see tackling as and he's down. Do you know what? I'm just going to bring him off. If he's going to keep going down, he can come off. Goodness sake. I'll bring on uh, Jackarini and just play him on the right, I think. Well read by the player to intercept that. <laughs> Soko just went in with a bit of a late tackle there, but it felt oh so good doing it. He's given the ball to his teammate, but not for long. He's got it back. Well, the defender here has won it well in the wide position. Super pass. What a chance here. Oh, thankfully, Sorensen's got it. For a corner. Touch in there. Well, it will be a booking. I think we thought at the time, but the referee played the on and let the game flow. That's with a dirty little tackle earlier on. I think that's good. He's now exacted the right so Pepe coming off. Frustrating losing such a good player like him. He's a really good player to have with his pace. Here's Flamini. Well, he sums up the industrial side of the game. Always on the go. Now they've got the ball. Halo's done well to win that back. Try playing this through to Vucinic. It's just going to bounce off the grass, that I think. That'll do. Throw in. And that's a throw for Juventus. And that'll be a corner. The flag's up. It's gone out of play off the player. It's a corner. Can't for complain Juventus. with that. Yeah, we'll put Pelo on the corner, I think. Good ball in. And here's the Good header. Oh, well just over. Corner, I think that was from Vucinic. Maybe that's a chance burned. They should have done better from that angle. Wasn't a million miles away. Juventus regained possession here. Mirko Vucinic. Paolo De Cegli. Oh, come on, De Cegli. What are you playing at, lad? Augusto. Abdullai Konko. Well, here we go with Juventus. Always a team worth watching. And they might be pushed quite hard here. But he's found his teammate. Oh, it's just poor from me, that really poor. Probing away. Trying to find room for a shot, maybe. He's got to clear it now. Rossi. Vucinic. And a quick catch-up for you on the game. Oh, to, you can see what I was trying to do, but... No accuracy there I think with it was the Giacarini, pass. didn't actually make the and run the in the end, so shouldn't That's have made Marley the pass. Budget. 
Marius Stankovicius. Flamini. Pasquale Foggia. Garrido. I'm just trying to be patient here. I just wait Good for ball. that moment when I can make the tackle. And there it is. But <laughs> in the end, I've just completely demolished the, the man as well. Characteristically for him. Now they're passing the ball well. Something could be on here. And the shot. Good block. We'll just break away for these other scores to keep you right up to date. What's that? Seriously, what's that? It's not even like close to being a good pass. Well, it was dangerous, but he dealt with it very well. Pasquale Foggia. Oh, I had to make that tackle because I tell you what. Give it a oh, it's a good ball. Oh, come on. It was a good effort in the end from Rossi. Good goalkeeping. You just got to sometimes, you know. There's nothing you can do if a goalkeeper makes a good save like that. You've just got to... He's had a good swing at the Ooh, well, the not far from the Perlo there. Well. Yeah, sometimes you've got to just put your hands up and just say, great save, you know. Good strong header from Sorensen. Good tackle from Sissoko. That annoys me so much on this game, and it happens all the time. When you make a tackle, it just goes straight back to the play you've just tackled. It's offside. You know, it would be okay if it happened now and again, sort of thing, but it happens all the time. And that's frustrating, because if that hadn't have been raining, we would have probably been able to run onto that with Vucinic. Renato Augusto. Abdullah Conco. Oh. Well executed. They've got width in this attack. They Good tackle from Tchegli. Good tackle from Shakiri, but just couldn't run onto it. Well, no wonder it's close. It's so nil nil at half time. I've certainly had the, the better chances overall. The number of shots too. Yeah, entertaining stuff, isn't it? In that you don't often have matches like this where both goalkeepers have been busy. Augusto. That's going to be a foul. I went in a bit late there with Shakiri. That's going to go out for a, a goal kick. Go flick on there for Vucic, but I wasn't quick enough. With Shakiri. Oh, just can't get out of the, the muddle, you know. I'm just stuck amongst Lazio players all the time. Galopa. Good tackle from Chiellini. I'm just sick of it going out for the throw-in all the time. Now it's Could do with getting the ball and actually and going on a break with it now. Conco. Right, come on. Has been very successful there. He's got possession. Here's the cross. Poor cross, really poor. But the opposition cope with it and, and it ends with this shot. And uh, the block has been made. And he's given that every Oh what a goal. And that's Rossi. That's exactly what he's good at. Little moments of brilliance like that. He might not do anything for a whole game. And then all of a sudden if the ball falls from in a position like that where he's still got a lot to do. And the tight sort of footwork and then just a simple finish and that's what Rossi is brilliant at on this game so I'm actually going to just sit back a little bit now and try and play on the counter uh, I'll also I might as well make some substitutions now actually uh, there's not a lot to choose from I'll bring on Ekdal I think uh, we'll bring him on. We'll play him in the middle, I think. Give him a game there alongside Sissoko. He's quite a, a you know, quite a strong player. Ball didn't quite get through. 
but it was a, a decent attempt. Paolo de Cegli. Pirlo playing it. Musa Sissoko. Oh, this is lovely football. They're passing it around for fun. Super oh, skills. just done him there. And his mate. Oh. One it has to clear it. Lazio with the football. Galopa. That's an advantage. Oh, we've got to be careful with those tackles with Sissoko. Uh, the Stadio Olimpico in Rome. Um, famous for the 1960 Olympics. The home of both Lazio and Roma. Um, got the running track, which is not good for us broadcasters. But uh, did you play here, Alan? No, I didn't. I uh, remember coming to visit it during oh, the missed the tackle with Van der Veel. Oh, this is dangerous, and it's a goal. And it was always going to happen because that's what FIFA does. Great cross and a great header from Pato. So back to square one. Vucinic is, of course, he stepped up at the right moment. He just stepped back. Oh. Renato Augusto. And I've won it back just about, and then I've given it back to them. With the football, Renato Augusto. How many tackles have I made in this game? And the player I've tackled has ran straight back onto the ball after I've tackled them. It's about four or five times now. And the manager here not settling for level pegging. He's going to try and do something, put his team into the lead. Gregory Van der Veel. Musa Sissoko. I'm just building things up slowly. Oh, that's a great chance. Into his feet. It's a decent cross. A oh, Vucinic nearly won it. He's cut it out well. Nicely done between the... They are putting oh, great block. Up. Great block, you've got to say. When I've actually managed to game, get a little touch on that. And Shaqiri's through. Got to play it back across. Oh, and I should have had the shot, I think. At least it's a corner. It would have been difficult to actually score from there. It was a tight angle, but maybe, you know, looking at that now, I should have gone for the shot, I think, rather than the cross. Well, now we are going to have a substitution. Let's see if we level. can whip this in. This is what the manager will hope will be. It's a the decent ball to moment. the back post. And uh, I think that was Sissoko was offside by about a mile. Juventus have the ball. Paolo de Cegli. Oh, you can see what I was trying to do, just play Rossi through there. Juventus regain possession here. Here's Chiellini, Gregory van der Veel. I'm pushing on with uh, Giacarini here. Run, but not such good defending. He's got to cross it now. He didn't give up, did he, the defender? We oh, just it's just so annoying when that happens. Goes on, but we're still all square. Going oh, I don't know where that heavy touch has just come from, but I, I didn't even touch the right analog stick. So I'm not sure what just happened there. Oh, that's annoying. Until that marvellous interception. Good pass. Good tackle, but God, it annoys me when it goes out when you make the tackle on the wing. It happens all the time. Frustrates the hell out of me. That's a 
great chance really squandered or the Anon right, should be Ron saying great defending. Oh, come on! I think he was great defending, Martin, but the pick of the pass could have been better. Better timed. Late in the game. And the attack Who is this? I tell you what. I'm so glad that that's gone wide. I think you will be disappointed, Martin, the fact he couldn't finish in the end because... Because there was nothing I could do to stop that then. Absolutely nothing. Wonderful play. Oh come on! This is this is the moment. This is it. This is my last chance, and I've absolutely messed it up. Thankfully, I've got a corner though. Come on, let's see if we can do something from this. It's an awful corner. Absolutely awful. That's probably the worst corner I've ever taken on the game, to be honest. And um, you know, considering it needed to be just half decent, that's the worst moment to do the worst corner in the game, you know. So it's a 1 1 draw, very, very, very disappointed with that. I should have won it, I had opportunities to win it and I didn't. And I'm not happy with the points, I should have taken all three. And it just it just surrenders more ground that we could have made on, on the leaders. So it's going to be even harder now to catch them up. And, um, you know, the difference in the game was Pato. And he shouldn't even be playing for Lazio, let's be honest. Why on earth he would leave AC Milan for Lazio? He wouldn't leave AC Milan for anybody, I don't think. So it's just frustrating that he's the guy that scored the goal for them, you know. As you can see, uh, man of the match went to Conco, their right-back. Whatever, didn't really notice him, to be honest. He probably made some good tackles on Chikiri. Um Rossi was our best player along with Buffon. So uh, it was a nice goal from Rossi. That was the highlight of the match for me. Other than that, though, really disappointing. So tune into the next one. We've got to play Fiorentina at home at the uh, the new Del Alpi. Hopefully, we'll get a win on that and start a new winning streak. At least we didn't lose. Uh, but yeah, tune into the next one. I'll see you then.